Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Dimba, and today we are going to jump into a ZW card, a mechanical option. And I just wanted to show you how quick you can create components and will get started right away. Remember, it's upon you to pick the appropriate tool for you when it comes to drafting in 2D software. And today we are going to pick uh, or have picked on this particular one, and uh, we want to compare it with the, with uh, the Legend AutoCAD. Now. Today, I want to create uh, a mechanical component right here, and we want to see how speed we can create that component and how that can help you in creating a similar component at, uh, at your end. Now, <coughs> I'll come to window here. If you jump to window, and remember this is uh, absolutely AutoCAD. The shortcut commands that you use in AutoCAD is applicable here. Remember, if I double click here and I come to options here, Remember, the settings are just the same as AutoCAD. So if you're familiar with AutoCAD, you are at home and this will be friendly free. You will not be scratching your head on which way to go. As long as you're from, you don't know what to do and you know what you want, this will be appropriate uh, tool for you. Now, let me just close this and uh, I'll take, uh, I'm just going very quick to use the, the software library to create a component of my choice. Now, today I'm going to uh, mechanical drawing and I want to either create a gear or uh, uh, a nut or a bolt. Now, I'll come here and pick on the gear generator. Remember, it works the same as Inventor, but Inventor is it's slightly costly when it comes to now a procurement of, of, of such uh, a tool. And this is a bit affordable. Affordable. Now, I'll go here and pick whichever gear of my choice, either a spa or a warm gear or a bevel gear. Remember, a bevel gear will now depend, will now depend on, uh, you'll use this and try and, and try to modify this. Now, I, I'll pick on a pinion gear or a warm gear. L let me just pick on that. Once you pick on that, you'll be prompted with options here. Uh, below it, it, you can see the structure size. Now, I, I need a full section of this gear. And uh, I need a side view of this and I need dimensions on this. So if you don't need dimensions and you don't need a side view of this, just uncheck. So in this particular case, I need those views and or, or I'll go straight and click OK and click on the window, then right click and click again, right click and this will appear. I'll have my, uh, I'll have my warm gear in place and click on that and you, 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 can th you can see the section and the side view of this gear. And also I can pull in a bolt here. I'll click on the bolt here and uh, scroll down and scroll down. We have variety. This is a whole catalog of bolt sizes and you can, you can pick in, in which you can pick whichever size of the bolt you want. I just I'll scroll down because I need a bigger one. I need M16, but M16 is slightly small. I need I'll just jump down here, scroll right there, scroll down. Uh, let me go to hexagonal bolt, hex, uh, head bolt, scroll down, go there. We need I need a bigger one. So I'll pick I'll pick on. And I'm going to pick on M20, this is slightly bigger, and you can you, you can see that. The, the moment I pick on it right here, we have options here. You can you can pick the original if you want to see the details of this particular size of bolt, structure, property, points, and script used applied on it. And what now we want to apply it or take it into our window here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click export. So this will export it or bring it to uh, my window here or our window because we are doing this together. Assuming you, as you, uh, as you view, you're, you're contributing. I, I assume that. Now, I'll uh, select, I'll, I'll place it somewhere here. But remember, this, this ball is not part of this. I'm just trying to show you how, to, how quickly you can create components of this particular, uh, of, 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 this, of this kind. Now, I'll snap on that spot. And you can see we have created these bolts and we have the, the, the side view of this. So this is how it looks. So no, how long will it take you to do this in you play in AutoCAD unless you do it in, tech, in, in Inventor? In Inventor also will take you some time to set your views, planes, and this there's no plane here to set. Now, I've done this and I want to pull in my title block. Now to submit this to the guy going to, to cut this or to 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 machine this now i'll come to 
I'll come to me mechanical annotations and inside here I'll be able to access this menu or, 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 or this command uh, border setup. I'll click on that and this will, will pop up and in here we have uh, group styles of uh, title block. We have ISO, we have uh, a uh, ANCI, ANSI, this is American standard, then the DIN and the GIS and I'm going to use the international standard. I'll pick on that and remember we have the variety, um, the choices you can pick on the size of the paper. We have A4, we have A3, A2, A1, A0. This is the, uh, the absolute, the most, the biggest size and others. Now I'll pick on A3 and I'll come here. You can, uh, on ISO title block, we have only two options, A and B. And also we have the part list here which will accompany our title block and it will be, it will be able to read uh, the component in here now I'll pull in this title block I'll click on it and come here and click OK so I have this title block in place I right click and I'll place it somewhere there so if you take a look it's uh, the title block, title block is slightly smaller and I, I don't want to add just this component now what I'll play around with is my title block i will adjust it to my to the to my preferred size now i select on it right click and come to uh, scale here and uh, i'll snap at the bottom end where i intend to start my stretching on to, uh, st start my scaling now i'll snap on that spot and in here we can read at the bottom end just specify the scale factor or copy or stroke uh, re uh, i mean reference I'll, I'll feed in my reference point and enter on my keyboard. Uh, I'll feed in my R here, R here, and uh, enter my keyboard. So I'll my reference point will be that, and I'll start scaling it from that spot and enlarge it slightly bigger like that. Select it once again, uh, move it up somewhere there. As long as it fits in, it fits in properly. I'll drag it sl slightly and uh, click move right there and there we are we have our components in place here we are don't forget to save your work there we are i'll go ahead and save it uh, f first of all let's first of all uh, uh, clear everything now as we did previously you may need to feed in your title block logo or uh, feed in a logo on a title block but that one i showed you previously and you can do that maybe you can just select on that then uh, right click and come to uh, once you've selected on that come to insert here and pick on edit block and in here this is the current drawing just double click on that and you'll be able to see this you'll be able to mat manipulate this so the moment you click on that you'll be able to pull in your title block and this will work much better for you this is the best way to uh, to go now now i'll close that i'll click yes i'll click yes to retain my settings here now remember this you this one you can export to now i'm playing autocad and uh, and um, uh, and modify it further in that uh, in that environment now i'll save it first here let me go and save it here i'll give it a different name trial two or three i'll pick a destination or a location where i intend to save it i'll pick on desktop i'll go ahead i'll go ahead here and save it here and uh either in autocad 20 2013 or, or autocad 20 or 2010 so it depends whichever version the pass the guy you are trying to share this with has. So so if it goes all the way to AutoCAD R12, this is the ancient version. Now, so uh, 2000 is quite like, is a long time ago. Let me just uh, place it in 2013, just recent, and uh, I think everyone is using from 13 onward. Now I'll place it on my desktop trial three. I'll click go ahead and click save. I'll go ahead and change that. Uh, it seems I have a similar name, so I'll go ahead and click no. I'll change this name to four or five. Or feed another four, th three there. Pick destination. I'll click save. Now I'll close this. Remember, this one remains the same. Rem this one remains the same. I'll save uh, once I've saved that. So I'll close this. I'll drag it aside, and we can open AutoCAD. I can I can drag this and open AutoCAD and put it into AutoCAD and AutoCAD, AutoCAD will open up and uh, click continue and we'll have this in AutoCAD, plain AutoCAD. 
give it some time to open and here we are we are in AutoCAD and nothing else yeah, here we are in AutoCAD you can see this this AutoCAD and everything is intact you can go further and change this to PDF go ahead and click print uh, pick maybe previous plot maybe previous plot a3 and I'm going to just define how my print will look like and the snap on that spot and I'll click preview and check what I've just generated this is what we have and you can generate this in PDF the similar thing you can do in ZW CAD I'm just showing you how you can jump in jump out in, in all these A2D drafting softwares and which which component do you intend to create and how fast did you need how how urgent do you need it to point you to pick the, the appropriate tool for this particular component i'll go for zw card i'll pick it and generate it and generate it gen, generate this component as quick as possible than making rounds in autocad now i'll uh, once i've done that and right click and come to plot and this will this will create a pdf version of this I'll feed in maybe R there. I'll save it on my desktop there, and this one will generate uh, a PDF. We'll convert this to PDF, and you can see this. This is what we have. This is what we have, and it looks nice with dimensions in place. The the very important dimensions in place. You can see the chamfer. You can cut the. You can use. You can cut this chamfer using this dimension and this dimension to get this chamfer. So. The necessary dimensions are in place let me just zoom out and, and move it slightly up and remember the conversion to pdf means the guy you're sending sending it uh, to means doesn't have uh, the design software or the drafting software what it has is this uh, is this pdf so he'll be able to view this and interpret the information uh, in here so i'll close this because we are demanding so much from our system i'll close one i'll close pdf here i'll close autocad here and we'll switch back to we'll switch back to our zw card I'll, I'll maximize this and here we are and also we can remember trial version you cannot print out unless you get the proper license for that now we, we are on trial version here so that's why i jumped i exported it to uh, to autocad there we have the license and we can convert and play around with the printouts of, the, of this kind now this is what we have and thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel amores dimba and please take care we have the covid19 don't uh, remember to self distance yourself and avoid this uh, deadly virus thanks a lot and bye bye let's meet then thank you